morning, good evening, whatever time it is for you. And today we actually have the boombox mid end. This is from November. I'm finally getting a chance to open it because it's one of my days off and I figured why not open it. But recently, since I haven't been opening up cars, I've been working. But this Sunday, I actually got the day off to go to the San Antonio Sports Card Expose. And I got a Dak Prescott. This I paid five bucks for. Got a Mar Jackson card. Two prime time cards. So prime time is Deion Sanders. He used to coach for Colorado now instead of Jackson State. Big player back in the day. I paid five bucks for all three of those together, and I bought this Michael Parsons card. So this card it says I paid eighty. In reality, I paid seventy for it. The guy offered me a deal. I told him, "Hey, look, rent is my first card show. I'm trying to spend challenge of two hundred bucks." And reality, I only so I paid seventy. 80 for all of these together then i paid 50 bucks for a some wax and what i mean by wax i mean um a wwe cards will open up soon and i paid 10 bucks to enter the event if anyone's interested in going to events it's 15 for two days 10 for one day so i went sunday only sunday so it's 10 bucks and then on um the main reason I went was to get my jersey authenticated, and turns out it was a good thing it was. So I have a real signed jersey, and I'm happy about that. That made my day completely. And it was just a fun time. Like, I definitely will go again. Um, I think I will definitely record when I go again. It's just, I didn't know if it was gonna be a good experience or bad experience. So I figured 200 bucks isn't a lot of money to spend at a card show. It's really not, especially if you go to a gun show, it's just not at all. Let's go over to November, what you get. So November mid and boom box, I know it's very late. You get 2022 certified hobby, four hits. 2022 elite hobby, 2022 score hobby, and 2021 playoff hobby. So we got some extras, we got legacy. Legacy is one of my favorite sets. We pulled our first auto from that one. Playoff, Certified, Don Russ, Score, and Prestige. This is a fit pack, so I think we'll save Score for last. Prestige. And we might as well start off with Legacy. Because Legacy is a fin pack, so it might not be anything. It might be a low auto. Hope it is. I can tell you right now it's probably not a patch, because patches are bigger packs. But how's everyone doing and as everyone had experience going to a card show because it's very fun it really is so we have a kyler murray stefan diggs matt juden hope i said that right flip it over all right so we have a legends Rondi Barber, yeah, Rondi Barber, Jim Kelly, rookie Kenny Pickett, then Venice Jones Jr., that's going under the lights, Barry Hall, which that would be a main hit, it's a rookie. So in total, we've opened up three Legacy Packs on the channel, and one had a hit, there two didn't. So it's still pretty good, because like I said, I pulled my first auto from there. But whenever you buy these boxes, you are not guaranteed to auto. It's just diverse packs from different areas. All right, so we got an Aaron Rodgers. He's not doing so hot this year. All right. So we did get an auto. Um, turn of the century, Brooke Purdy. It's a rookie auto. That's pretty cool. So um, one thing to say. Oh, wait, wait. That too. It is AQB. 
believe he did play this year. 38 out of 49. So that's pretty cool. And I think this is another one. Or maybe it's just turned upside down. Yep, just upside down. 71 and 399. And we have Jerry Judy and Debo Samuel. So one thing I do want to say, um, whenever I got to Mike Parsons, I don't, it's Mike Parsons. It's one of my favorite players on Dallas because he's doing really good. But I don't really like his auto. His auto looks really weird to me. But then again, my auto isn't that great either. My auto is really sloppy. Remember, if I ever sign someone, I'm like, is that really your signature? It's like, yep. If I could make it just a little squiggling line, I would. So we have Tyreek Hill, which he plays for the Dolphins now instead of the, um, what's it called? The um, Kansas City Chiefs. We have a number rookie, Troy Anderson from the Falcons. This is cool. Josh Allen, gold team. Russell Wilson is now in a hot year, but he's still a starting quarterback. Tyler Lockett. And then there's a card for y'all. So it's a little code card, helps y'all get points. All right. So we'll start from the front, I guess. Playoff Ray Lewis. That was one of the cards I was looking for. Signed. I couldn't find any of the expose. Tony Gonzalez. Juju Smith Schuster. DJ Moore. Fletcher Cox. And. Ravon Jordan. All right, the enclosed player worn used material is guaranteed by Panini America. So that is Amari Cooper. That is pretty cool. I know it's not on Cowboys anymore, but player worn. That is great. And we got a rookie wave of Jalen Waddle, which is a great player. Don't like how it's spent, but it's Jalen Waddle card. And then we got a Prestige 2014. I don't remember who you want to pull from 2014 besides Baker Mayfield. Johnny Manziel, not Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield was 2017, I believe. And I already got bad news for that. It doesn't look like we got anything because it looks like a filler card. So we have Antonio Brown. Sally is not in the NFL anymore. Aaron Foster, Gino Atkins, filler. So this is what I mean by filler right here. These are fillers. And then we have Julian Edelman. That's a pretty cool card. 81 of 100, Julian Edelman. He's a good player, he really is. Not my favorite team in the Patriots, but he's still a good player. Then we have these two. Dry Archer. Patterson. And Quinn Bolden. And Jay Cutler. Right. Last but not least, we have the score 2022. Hobby. Maybe this is Hobby. Should be Hobby. Now, this should be an odd one here. Maybe not. I believe this is hobby. Yep, hobby. So there should be auto. If not, we'll get it numbered. So we're gonna skip through most of the base. So it's a waddle. Well, Michael Vitt, Nico Collins, Hammond Jordan. I'm on with Stuart Brown, Patterson, Jordan Love. Michael Thomas, Darius. I remember at, at the card show too, they were talking about Jordan Love and how he might not make a big impact. It's like, he's still a rookie. Give the man some time. And Aaron Rodgers wasn't big until um, 
a few years actually. He's rode the bench for three to four years. We got Jerry Rice, Jeremy Drake, Jake Plummer, Najee Harris, Sherman Thomas, Michael Parsons. We already talked about his auto, so let's go through a lot of these right here. Terry McLean, or McLaren, Eric Metcalf, Greg Russo, Dak Prescott. Uh, not a good deal on him for 100 bucks or 120. I was going to buy him, but the guy left. Michael Strahan, Alec Pierce, Kenny Brooks, Matt Corral, Dre and Memphis. And we're going to go over here. Okay, so all sideways. So. Wanda Robinson, Shard, Charleston Rambo, Demarion Lavelle, George Khalifas, Jalen, not going to try to pronounce that. We have week eight of 2021 fantasy. Because these are fantasy leaders. Then for Bronco squad, Breakthrough, Justin Fields. And a Michael Pittman Jr. So that pack may have been a bust, but honestly, you were not guaranteed anything in these. So I am really happy. The two main things we did pull is a Amari Cooper and a Brock Purdy turn of the century. So. Sadly, the Brock Purdy isn't a numbered, but it's still a rookie card. So that is really cool. And like I said, Amari Cooper, it's not numbered either. But it's still a cool card. Well, I hope you all have a good day, and I'll catch you on the next one.